Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I am Ace Age, playing on the Road to 56 mod as an Axis Ally in Ireland. And we're currently just trying to get some airdrops in place. Needs to help on the continent. I'm setting up this old. This reserve air wing is only used outdated planes. We're currently updating the rest. The ones we have back home. Which means I'll have plenty of plenty others in stock. We have to replace these ones once they go, because we do not have enough air superiority for it. As in we have no air superiority. And now we do. So we can push into into Piskov. And that should Yeah, because the Soviets are out of supply up here as well. If we can take this, we can get our supplies in. Oh, looks like we might not be managing this. I can get, I can award them each a medal. Let's see the extra defense. Probably need, probably do need that because they're going to need it for this sort of thing. Two more days. Oh, I think we are going to lose. Oh, someone else pushing. Just us. Yeah, time to pull out. We lost a lot of people doing that. Yeah, I need to read. That did not go the way I expected it to. Which means I need to get a lot more manpower through. Hmm, I might need to actually consider going up to service by requirement at some point, but for now... For now we'll leave it. Because I might also need to start getting another at least another two divisions. Another one, anyway. Yeah, wait until these get up to full strength. We'll build another division. Oops. Good. All right. Should wait for these to get back to strength. Or should I try going to going for Talon? Because the last episode I was flip flopping between Talon and Gov because we need to get the supplies through, and there's supply hubs here. So can I actually build a new port table base? Now it's supposed to look okay around this front. We'll go for top so we can get a port, get some more up here. Infantry.
Yeah, it's basically just man waiting for manpower to get here that's the problem. Wild Ace has appeared in the Baltic states. Oh great, Belgium has revolted. This is something that happens a lot in this mod. Germany creates a load of um, puppet states, rice protectors in the low countries and places, and they just keep getting revolt. revolt. That's quite insane. I suppose it's probably historically accurate. Just maybe. Nearly there for manpower. Once this happens, we're just going to drop straight into the Talon and hold it. Because it looks like there's a push up here. How long does it take to build this manpower? Full strength, full strength. Time to go. Oh, looks like some of the Soviets are retreating towards Tallinn. Which means we now hold it. Which means we just need to hold and wait for them to come to us. So these Soviet units here have no supply at all. You can see they're, well, they are, they're basically pushing back because they outnumber our allies, but they can't get in. Problem is, we have almost no... They don't have much supply. We can, we can hold. We just need to, we need to hold, that's it. We have a little bit of a. We have two infantry, German infantry divisions and a Panzer division here. Just a little bit of extra fire support to hold Talon. Because my put my plan here is to try and push in here, get rid of some of these units, maybe push towards part, help take toward, push towards Parnu. Can't really do anything there. Let's just push this way. Ooh, we're heavily outnumbered. Hmm. Oh, looks like we're starting to push. Basically, these guys have no supply, and they're trying to focus on this on pushing out this way, which means. They're going, they just can't fo and focus everything on it or on us. Yeah, you can see they have no supply. And the terrain doesn't, doesn't help them either. Winter clothing, very much needed. More winter clothing because we're fighting in Russia in the snow. These they're gonna have absolutely no organization afterwards, so I think we'll be able to push them. Ooh, naval invasions elsewhere. Northern France. Okay. Italy, Western France, Normandy and Brittany, A, Dutland Peninsula, get the Scandinavian Council to lend us some help. Help. Oh, that push did not go the way I expected it to, so the line back just back to Tallinn and Ooh, actually it looks like the Soviets might just have pushed too far here. 
course, we, we don't really have the manpower to cover that full front, but, or the numbers, but we can do other things, I think. We can do the stuff it's called. Right, extra air superiority, we always need that. And now wait for the... a lot more manpower than I like. I want to get this, but I might just go and get this first because it does give us some extra recruitable population and it buffs the generals that we do have. Well, the Germans seem to have pushed up here a bit. That's good. And we're starting to push them back. Nice. What's it work on next? Extra, extra breakthrough and defense for everything. Heck yes. We might want to get that at some point, but. Hmm. Firefighting grills, always useful. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. We got around to doing heavy cruisers, so. Heavy cruiser battery. Say, well, this would be a light cruiser. Will be expensive as well. It's just to help with anything heavier. Ah, uh, may as well just go all in. Historical head cruisers. Oh, four of these. I think we'll just try holding Talon for a bit longer or wait. Ah, uh, we need a lot more steel for that. Uh, lost a few German ships there. None of ours, thankfully, but. Still rather not lose anything. Alright, we've helped secure most of Estonia. I think I might just do a power drop onto Parisari. I don't know how to pronounce that. Try and just clean help clean up this entire pocket. Of course, we're still very low on manpower. Uh, Getting low on manpower, waiting for the gain the push. Inscription law, that's what I was looking for. Can't English today. That didn't go the way I expected it to. Having to retreat back across the strait to oh, 
Oh, I think we can probably get it next time. This time, wait until they've actually fully prepared and they're all in position. Need to get to something about the fuel gain from our refineries. Oh, look, they're trying. English are trying to invade us. Really, guys, what were you thinking? Aims to engage at high risk because. Get more stuff done that way. Oh, that always that me. See how much have I got so far? Mm, about 1%, 2%. Yeah, trying to land on Kurt, this place is just not working. I'll just leave, I'll just leave it because that's five divisions that the Soviets can't reuse for anything. Hmm, supply here is not great. Let's see. Minsk to... So I have to wait for all that to build up. So England's trying to do a naval invasion again. You can see the amount of penalty, the penalty for for naval attacks. We're also dug in a lot of coastal ports on what is basically hills and mountains. Like, it's just not going to work out. Then I've got three um, trooper divisions. I tried got landing here to try and cut off and circle up Skov, but I think it might be get better to just do do it over here. And, um, block off. Well, Marva does have a port, so maybe not. They might also cut off some of their supplies coming from coming down here to Peskov. Maybe I should try just doing a little thing and. And I don't really have the divisions for that. They're too beefy for to place that way. What I was thinking of doing was having a couple of rat divisions just drop, say, here, and then just run all over the place, tying up the... tying up the Soviets. They're trying to push out, out into... One of, uh, second thoughts. Entire brigade. The entire division. Army. We'll try landing in Narva. Once they, because once they, once the stack fails, their organization is going to be very low. Okay, let's go time. 
And here we go. Yeah, our organization is not great, but nor is there, nor is theirs. That's pretty. But that's some. That's some of the supplies we're going to be put, able to push in here. Won't be pushing into the Soviets, which is great. So I think I can probably update. It's our infantry manufacturer. I want to go funds game, which we'll just get, get through the rest quicker. Ability, research speed. I think vertical integration, so I can use them more cheaply. Because steel is probably I always have this up the stop at the top, so the resource penalty is not too big, severe. It's mainly down here where this is going to be a problem. You can see 22.6 percent on the us up in here to try and surround the scov because they have no by coming through here at all oh yeah supply consumption and supply truck attrition vision attrition will be very helpful this will be helpful Now we need to. Uh, don't have. Oh, we do have a rare spot. There. You guys. Then attrition, attack against major countries. Cool stuff we need. It's such a pain without a planet workhorse. Nope, that did not work out because. We just can't. We just can't push that enough. It's a good try, but it's not to be. Soviets can't push us out either. Do I want to try taking Moscow? What the hell? Let's go give it a try. This is probably going to be the stupidest thing I've ever done. But hey, if it works. Sort of sort of thing is probably the power trips were originally intended for. Probably won't work that way, but you never know. I have too much army XP. And fun. Might as well go switch back to this. Let's switch to this. Like the conscription law cost doesn't mean anything now, but the extra power gain, because we are having a bit of a problem with that. Let's see, are we? It's go time. We actually took it. Nice. I'm going to just eat this and first division will just rush rush up towards Yaroslavl. Third will take over here and we'll we'll just hold Moscow. Now this division will Air supply for these guys. 
That's going to cut off every bit of supply these guys have here. Yeah, are the are allies going to actually use that? I would hope so. I would hope so. Try and buff up Harrison's. You sent volunteers to help the Soviets. How dare you? Right, so we've, we're currently surrounded, but that's what paratroopers are for, so not the worst thing that could happen to us. And they have absolutely no supply coming out of Moscow, means we just need to hold until the... Hmm. Okay, this may not have been my best idea. The ballsy plan, though. Yeah, we do not have the numbers for this. So, that's three divisions completely wasted. Because the AI just cannot capitalize on our pushes. Looks like I'm going to be going back to the old building railways. And supply. Lands are not first. Yep. Well, that was a waste. Some very valuable men. I am very annoyed at myself for that. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I think I'm going to leave it there here for now. We pushed way too far, way too hard, and just couldn't follow up on this. We're still mobile, so next episode, go wait until we ha actually have, have that, um, our population mobilized, then start building up four divisions. This time, I'm not going to try landing on Moscow. It's a dumb move, and I paid for it.
that'll be it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.